Okay, so we're gonna start attacking our opponent. They're gonna be playing seated guard. Opponent is standing. So if I don't engage with him, it's going to be hard for me to do anything because in some cases, if he's tall, he's gonna to try to jump over. And that's all good. Um, because remember the principles of the seated guard. I've got my elbows. I call it elbow in the cradle. And I'm sitting over here, feet are together. And I've got the diamond shape. So when I'm playing over here, I need to have contact with him. So he's already made a mistake. So as you can see, my feet are sticking out here. So this is the double Kazushi, meaning an off balance. So if I hold him by the shin and I'm working over here, I can push him over and he's gonna be unbalanced. So th this can be a hard thing to stop, but for now, let's just say he's used to it and he's gonna move away from me. I've still got this elbow in the cradle, as I call it, and I've got a rough uh, diamond shape, tipped it's an open diamond. I want to get exposure to, or well, I want him to expose this leg. So for that to happen, I'm going to roll. So my elbow is tucked in and I roll to the side. Now watch, as I roll, he lifts. From, from this position, it's very awkward for him. So I can grab here and I can sweep him, but I'm going to kick this leg upwards and look for the single leg. Boom. I've got the single leg X and my checklist is I've got this heel on his hip, I've got the back of my foot on his thigh and I'm covering the heel. So to get him to fall, it's a twist to his outside and I'm over here. So let's go through the checklist again. So my, my knee goes to my heel and the back of my foot is on his thigh. It's even better if he gives me, if he gives me this leg like this. It's going to make it harder for him to escape. To finish the submission, I'm going to roll away and I'm going to come back. And I've got either the Achilles tendon. It's very much like a guillotine motion. I'm not falling backwards, I'm crunching up and then I'm moving backwards. Or if I'm higher up, I mean, I'm right where the calf begins in the middle of the leg. Same thing. Now for him to escape, his first mode of engagement is this foot. So this is why it's important to cover. It's important to, to see if I can maintain some sort of control of him. I won't finish the submission from here, but I can control from here. But he's going to be looking for that. So he's going to flatten the foot. He's going to sit on it. He's going to scoot out. If he's not aware of, of this leg, this is where I can start sweeping or I can re-engage. So the sweep won't work now because if we look at his body weight, he's pulled backwards. But look, now I can grab this one and I can sit in on this side. So if he sketch the other the same way, he's going to like, feel the foot sit up. So when we're drilling, it's going to be the takedown or the setup and the takedown and it's going to be two transitions, one to this side, then he, he starts escaping, I keep his foot stuck and I'm in again on the other side. Okay, thanks.